Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is February 11th. We got the grain markets following through a little bit with yesterday's trade. Kind of a surprising trade after seeing the USDA supply and demand numbers, but uh, we were down yesterday. Corn down two right now. Beans down two and a half. Wheat down about five. Um, as I mentioned, a little bit of a surprise from USDA's report yesterday with the expectation of seeing beans dropping below 400 million carryout. And guess what? The trade got it. 385 million. So, uh, but kind of surprised by the reaction that we had seen. We should have seen a little strength from those numbers, but seemed like everybody was ready to sell any kind of a bullish number yesterday. And we did see that. Uh, corn dropping back about 50 million tons, uh, or 50 million bushel. And, uh, looking at those numbers, yeah. Uh, a little bit bigger decline than what trade had expected as well, yet we still finished lower. As I mentioned, following through a little bit here today. Uh, today will be released another set of numbers. We're going to see uh, our government put out what they call their baseline projections. So you're going to hear this. Baseline projections are strictly a budgetary number. Um, it should not hold any market sense at all. They released these baseline projections back in December as well. And there's talks that they're not going to change it from December. Um, and as I mentioned, it is strictly for their own budgetary purposes. Uh, the bigger thing to focus on from a release from USDA will be from their ag forum, which is next week. So watch that. Those types of uh, those the, that I guess, um, and what they project actually from their ag forum probably should be held a little closer than what these baseline projections may say. But the market wants to hear it and the market wants to talk about it. So we'll end up having that for you guys later on today. Um, as I mentioned, follow through selling uh, from yesterday's USDA report. We are going to see some ethanol numbers out at 930. Uh, we've seen some decent numbers uh, in the past. We did see last week slipping back a little bit, still running 6% over a uh, year ago levels. But uh, where are we at right now? Uh, we'll see at 930 uh, on what kind of uh, ethanol numbers they're going to throw at us right now. So keep an eye on that today, looking at some of these outside markets as well as far as money flow. The dollar right now is actually up about $0.05. Cents. Crude oil setting back about 50 cents right now. So not a lot of direction from the outside markets. So I'm kind of expecting a choppy markets for our grains today. Looking at livestock, cattle right now up 30 cents. Uh, no trade as of yet. Still market might seem a little bit excited uh, with last week's higher cash trade. Are we going to see something like that again? Uh, box beef. Down five cents, but choice up a buck twenty six. So finding a little support here in early trade. As far as hogs, down seventy cents right now, continuing to peel back. That's for April. Uh, cutout values down a dollar sixteen. Still, uh, we're making new. We made new lows again yesterday, and we continue to uh, find some weakness as we uh, as we go throughout the week. So still, not a lot of sense of buying, and and really. There's there's no reasons for it here as of yet. We're still searching for those reasons to come in and put a low in in this hog market. We just don't have it yet. As I mentioned, some of these outside markets right now, crude oil down about 50, the dollar up 5 cents, uh, but the stock market down 39, gold and silver a little bit higher, $2 higher in gold, and about 4 cents higher for silver. But give us a call if you guys have questions. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.